There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Today, I'm going to be teaching you, yes, <laughs> you how to do throat bass. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I made a tutorial already on throat bass, but I'm sure that one really sucked. And, uh, glow in the dark spray paint on there, too, so that's going to look pretty sweet. Um, I don't know why I did it from that perspective instead of that perspective. I guess I can do the rest of the video from over here, but, um, so, yeah, this is your my arm. I'm just gonna set you down over here. Throat bass is kind of a complicated sound, but really, really simple. So I'm gonna make this one now, and hopefully that's better. <laughs> That was throat bass, not the best beat, it's just kind of off the rip, but I sing it, so like... What the heck? I, I think it was just, I don't know, something fell in the background. The way you do throat bass, I've heard people say before, like, to cough and then vocalize the kind of rattly part of that, but for me, that leads me to chest bass, so if this works for you, great, so try coughing. <coughs> or like clearing your throat. That raspy part. <coughs> Hold that. <coughs> It's kind of like in between throat bass and chest bass and or unvocalized throat bass I should say. So that's where the confusion could probably come from but take that and then vocalize it add that into it and it goes one is one is together there another way of doing it how I would probably explain it is to start higher up and then work your way down because it's easier to get it in a high tone, like even though it doesn't sound good, and then work your way down to the lower frequencies, like and to get the high throw bass, you want to really tense up your throat. So go up here, uh, and then do the thing like, if you can talk like this, that's really good. But if you can't do it, there's another way to do it. Act like, you know, when you're stretching and you're like, you know, that sound right there. Do that and then just put your full voice into it instead of, you want to fully, fully go into it mm. so that's super super unclean but that's an easy way to get to it it's the same technique just clean it up But yeah, it doesn't sound too sick up here. You're not going to make a beat like because <laughs> people would probably give you pretty weird looks. But once you take it down a little bit, take it down some semitones, some notches, we're going to sound smooth. We're going to sound cool. We're going to sound sick. So you're just training pitch, just like how you'd go down. <laughs> Sorry, I went into <laughs> subharmonics a little bit there, but another way to do it is sing high up. <laughs> but don't go to falsetto, don't go to head voice. Just go high up on your chest voice. I know it's not pretty, but... And then from there, just tense up your entire system, like flex your core really hard while you're doing it. Tense up like this. And again, that's also really clean, but you want that consistent tone right down the middle. And then again, you can lower it till it sounds however nice you want. 
This sound has been around a super long time. It's also called Mongolian throat singing or in the normal singing community, just throat singing a lot of the time. It's also the same technique as the beans meme, you know, Beans. One thing that's really important to work on once you have the sound down is texture, okay? Texture is everything. It can turn the sound, this is the same pitch, to that's the same bass, just different textures. You can do like the stitch voice, like I talk about a lot. Or you can mess with tongue position, like troth bass. Or you can project it nasally, or you can even project it nasally while you're doing it outwards, switch back and forth like I did in the intro. It's the same as like with your mouth closed, like the microwave sound, but just flipping off it coming from your mouth and instead going to your nose while your mouth is still open. Or almost like saying the NG sound. Another thing you can mess with is formants. If you don't know what formants is, it's like how hollowed out your throat is. So instead of you can take it to something like or it works better. The technique is more noticeable in the lower range. So like that's normal, like codfish variation, but you can widen your throat while you do it, change the formant to lower and it will sound like this. This sounds really cool and full and deep when it's in the lower parts. This is the same as Remix uses as his throat bass and also Vino uses, but they just got it like that naturally. It sounds really cool in the lower regions like You can also do all kinds of other filter type stuff like the tooth trumpet or the lip trumpet. Lip trumpet is this with normal vocals or you can do it with chest voice, but it doesn't sound as cool, but you can do that with throat bass too. Or you can also do teeth trumpet too, but you can do that with throat bass too. You can also combine it with other things like uh, tongue roll, outward tongue roll, aka tongue bass. Or lip bass slash wobble bass. Or a cheek roll like this. Pressurized cheek roll. <laughs> or as well as combining it with tons of whistles. anything else you can also use any sounds that don't take air from your lungs like or as well as all the normal drum sounds like but obviously not inward case snare or like a snare or anything like that just because that takes takes air to or from your lungs, so that's not gonna work out. Yeah, there are tons of variations with throw bass. Please, please, please let me know if there's anything that I didn't cover in this video down in the comments or anything that helped you in case I wanna make a third remake of throat bass. I'll also link my first throat bass tutorial down in the description just in case you wanna check that one out and see if there's anything good in there because I honestly remember nothing about how I made that video, but 
see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want.